guess what day it is? Today is spit day here at HMP. That seems to happen twice a week. Matt Turnock is getting his master's in science at McMaster University, and he's going to tell us all about spit day. What is this all about? Well, what the Center for Simulation-Based Learning is doing is a study of stress and coping in isolated and remote environments. And this has huge implications for selection criteria for long-duration space flight um, astronauts, as well as people who work in remote and isolated areas. What we're doing is we're taking samples of salivary cortisol, so spit, and cortisol is a hormone that has been well validated as a marker for stress. We take that four times a day, twice a week, on Tuesday and Friday, so today is Friday. Thank you, Elaine, for giving me your spit. And as well on those days, uh, participants will do a self-reported measure of stress. And what we're trying to do is correlate self-reported measures of stress with salivary cortisol. As well, uh, throughout their stay, at some point, participants will have to do a personality assessment. And by looking at the personality assessment, cortisol levels, and self-reported stress, hopefully we can determine what sort of personality traits help to predict uh, who is better able to cope with the stressful uh, environment here at the uh, Hot Mars Project. <laughs> Not me! <laughs> I'm super stressed. Just kidding, I love it here. So I'm about to do mine, right? Because right. I'm going to go straight to bed right after this. That's right. So all you have to do is put the cotton swab in your mouth for about a minute. And I hear this isn't as bad as um, previous spit tests. No, that's right. This one's uh, quite easy to do. All right, so the cotton swab right now is trying to absorb about a milliliter of spit. Mmm, cotton. How does it taste? Tastes like cotton. Okay, so I just spit this back in here. That's right. Uh, yep, without touching with your fingers. Good. Or my tongue. <laughs> That's it. Great. Done. We've got a good number of participants this year, more than we were expecting. And I think by the time we're done here, we're going to collect about this much spit in total from all of the participants. But as you might imagine, it's kind of hard to self-assess yourself and, and how you're feeling. And that might be different than your actual levels of stress. Um, so hopefully, uh, what we'll find out is whether self-reported measures are actually correlated with biological markers of stress. And if that's true, then the astronauts can continue filling out their self-reported uh, stress assessments. If it's not true, it might be better to have them do a salivary cortisol, very non-invasive, not like taking blood um, as an indicator for sort of how stressed they are and how well they're coping with uh, long-term space flight. Sounds great, Matt. Thanks. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> My mouth is dry. <laughs>